to Привет, семья. Okay, this is uh, me, Anna from Bailosa Squad, and together with Helena Kopilev. So, um, she's first time here in Cavite, in Toros Farm. We got her from the airport. <laughs> That's the first time you you even been in Manila, right? Yeah, my first time. Yeah. Uh, I was surprised because you know a lot of foreigners here in the Philippines, but uh, she is living in uh, Samal Island. Samal Island, yeah. So I had a lot of questions like, why Samal Island? Why you? Why you chose like Davao? It's like really far away from the, you know, all the shopping centers and then I, I'm not sure like exactly what is life living in the Philippines for you. Like, I, uh, the first time I saw her vlog, I was like, okay. How how can you like choose um, Philippines to live here? Like what what is what was behind your choice, and uh, what do you think like by living here a couple of months? Like what do you think about the Philippines itself, about the culture, and um, you know for other foreigners like is it possible to live here, and what is the difference? Yeah. So uh, basically, why Samal Island? Number one question. Actually, it was a little bit accidentally. Accidentally, <laughs> because, because I I go to Davao. I thought my school will go, or my children will go in school in Davao, and I will live there. And like for vacation, for weekends, I will go in Summer Island just to swim. That's what okay. that, that was my plan. But then when I arrived in Davao, uh, why Davao? You ask. Mm -hmm. uh, so <laughs> actually, I'm here because of karaoke. I was singing in. Uh, in online karaoke and find a lot of a lot of Filipino friends okay. and there was a lot of people from Davao so they invite me they invite me there and they will help with everything we will meet you in airport just we can stay in our house and I was like and I always wanted to try live in uh, in place with, with no winter and Philippines it is a country with a lot for us very easy with visa yeah. Yes. So. <laughs> so so basically like did you find strange like oh wow so many friends from the Philippines that like, you haven't met and they're like so friendly like wanted to invite you in the, in their house like how did you feel about that I already understood that they're super super friendly yes online I already understood this I have this other Filipino friends on Facebook um yeah, but when I came, I have no idea that she live any foreigners, that she live Russians. I have no idea about <laughs> it. So it was kind of surprise mm -hmm. and like present from God that I met people with who I can talk my language, what I know. Mm -hmm. And uh, why Samal Island? We didn't find school in Davao. It was very, very hard for children. They didn't take us. Mm -hmm. And then I go in Samal and I met there on the beach, just on the beach, Russians. And, and they help you out. And they help me out. They give me where to live. They give me. Uh, uh, they, they bring me together to school. And there also already was some Russian children who who, who wanted, was that yeah, school. Yeah, yeah, studying okay. at school. So they take us, enroll children like in five minutes. And it's a public school, right? Yeah, it's public school. <laughs> yeah. I saw a couple of pictures about the school, so I was like, okay, this this is very interesting because most of the foreigners here they will go to they will put their children into the private private school because less people and uh, there's more English they use in the school. So how does it feel for you to to bring your kids in public school? Uh, for me, it's very very good because there is not so much expenses. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> it's like... a very big big yes. Yes. <laughs> And uh, there already was Russian children, so it was easy for for my children to just go in this um, community of Filipinos because already these children who who are Russian they already know how to speak Filipino and they can translate, mm -hmm. they, help they help out. It was very very good for us. Okay, um, but like you you you've been living before in Germany, right? Yeah. So you come from Germany. How does it does it um, how does the life living in the Germany and here different like about the from the culture of Germany? Oh, what can I say? It's Philippines and Germany it's like opposite countries and Filipinos and Germans yeah. it's like completely opposite people. Can you give one like opposition? Like what is the um, what is w one point? What is the opposite about like? Like in Germany is a lot nothing. There is so much rules uh -huh. like too strict very strict and here is like freedom we can do everything you want <laughs> <laughs> so you can sing karaoke till midnight 
Or until your barangay will tell you to stop holding <laughs> the at night, right? So you can see here, yeah, it, it is it is true. Like sometimes even it's abusive to people. Or how how here children come to the school? They come like on one motorcycle, five children arrive. <laughs> <laughs> is something like this? Yeah, I saw Germany? a picture. I saw a picture, like you riding a motor with your two kids, like <laughs> in one motor. Okay, and um, okay, let's let's just be frank like in the philippines there's no regulations about uh motorcycle like kids on the motorcycle Actually, or kids in the car in the big seats in davao it's not allowed really yeah yeah you can't like some somebody but in this children, okay but, but in provinces it's like free even if you if probably see you they, they just, but i guess they just understand because they live poor people yeah and they can't afford car and they the family is big how, how should they transport so you have them? a motor I have, yeah. Motor. So you, 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 you go on the Sama, Sama, Sama Island? I have my children with motorists. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and th this was a challenge for me because uh, actually I never drive motor before. <laughs> wow, so you learned it here? I learned it here. And the first I day, also. because I have no choice. I should, uh, I you should, should go learn. somewhere, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I have children, so I just put them on motor and I just, God, please <laughs> help us survive. <laughs> So what what do you think? What would German people will tell you when they see you in the motor? They will call police and say this crazy mom <laughs> put in danger your children, <laughs> and they uh, will come police and take away children from me. Really, it's a joke. Mm -hmm. They will take away children from me and put in another family who is more responsible. And, and then they will put you in the uh, psychiatric uh, ward. Yeah, that <laughs> she usually gone crazy. Okay. Um. What else? Like in the school, what's what is things that you found in the school, in the Filipino schools, uh, that you like, okay, there's nothing like that in Germany? Everything. <laughs> Everything. <laughs> like even how they study, like how about the, the holidays, how they celebrate, and... Um, Just everything different, everything. I just don't even don't know what to start. Like classes is completely different. They're, 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 there's a lot of children in one class. Okay. Like, mm -hmm. And on the on the classes it's very, very loud. Like my daughter for the first first month she was like, Mama, I can't you can hear anything. I can't hear anything, I understand anything and it's too loud. It's like if 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 children will be like that in Germany we will, we will become a, a red card. <laughs> so it's like if people if children are noisy uh -huh. They become like punishment, red card, and so extra... So what is red card? They give red card? Red yeah. card means extra housework. You do housework. something bad. Ah, what? Housework? Yeah. In the school. Um, yeah, I don't know, like, for me, when I, when I first... Okay, when we came here in the Philippines, so Nicole was the first one going to school, so... Number one was a uh, fascinating thing, what I saw, is like how they celebrate uh, Christmas, and uh, there's so many ball gowns. Involved. Like all kinds of uh, events, there's so many events, a like parade and stuff, and you have to wear a really beautiful ball gowns that everybody have to rent, and that was for me something, and the, the kids put makeup. That's for me also crazy, Just it was just a surprise and big shock. <laughs> big shock, yeah, in in, um, in Russia, okay, in Russia when, when we grow up, like any kind of activities, we do it simply so basically like it's a simple dress it's a simple you know if we put the makeup it's like out of something something crazy happened that we need to put a makeup or it's like for a play or i don't know but here it's a normal thing and it's really hot and like uh when i see like those girls wearing a really beautiful ball gowns for like a debut or something like that so it was it was shocking for me. Honestly. What what else is uh, you think like in Germany? It's like this in Philippines. It's like this. Oh, uh, is that because we are opposite countries? I don't know. One is in the equator and one is in the north. What is what do you think like the other thing that you you found um, about Philippines is odd or different? <sighs> People, of course, people here. Like people in uh, in Germany, they are very close and cold. Like, mm -hmm. of course, they they like they smile to you. They're mm -hmm. polite, yes, yeah. mm -hmm. they're polite. Right. But 
they don't let you inside in their lives like mm -hmm. it's my privacy it's your privacy and we just <laughs> don't not connect really and here it's opposite right like here it's opposite because are open they invite me your, you in your house in your they, even in the beach you can that there, there can be birthday celebration and, and they'll they, just invite and you and they can invite you give your food and you sing with us so in Ger I can't imagine the situation in Germany. Never. I lived for ten years. Never something like that happened. Mm -hmm. If it's like if you go in the beach alone, you go from beach alone. <laughs> and here in Philippines, you go alone and you go. You come back with the whole family, different family. <laughs> <laughs> and you you went to friends on Facebook and. <laughs> um, I remember my uh, encounter. Like I was, it was hard for me to adjust. Like the random people will just come up to me and ask me a very personal question like a very personal or they will touch my nose or like, <laughs> like they will invade my privacy like i would literally i was I, I was staying in the restaurant in one of the malls and the person just just like stormed close to me and she clo hold me in my nose i was like do i need to call police <laughs> i was in the bathroom <laughs> Like it was so weird, yeah. And it took it takes me time for me to adjust. Like people will just come to me random, and they will start asking me questions about my husband, like about my uh, my kids, about like I was like, oh my god, can I share this information, or maybe they will use it in my, like in some certain way that I don't know. <laughs> you know, like I was like, it it took me a while to a little bit open up in that. Um, yeah, in Russia we don't do that. Luck literally don't do that. It's only very close friends are allowed to talk about personal things. You know, you don't, you don't, you don't do it with a random person on the street. <laughs> like, um, you know, you don't even smile in Russia to people who you don't know. I in Germany we smile, but but only smile. Smile and go. Smile and go. <laughs> in Philippines, smile and start conversation and. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, Tell us something, just one thing, like you think, okay, it's so hard to get used to this in the Philippines. What do you think? I don't have this. Shocking, something shocking. <laughs> you know, I, when I came here, I understand that it's a different country and I just should take everything as it is. So for me... You don't try to change it, right? Like, yeah. No, the most it. shocking maybe for me, for me, situation on the road. Okay. Like, uh, I never saw that people can uh, cross two lines, you know, when they drive. So okay. like two ways and they just hop and turn on, on my side on the road. Ah, okay. So they do turn around? Turn around to where, the two, the, where lane, it, yeah, yeah. When it's not allowed. Yeah. So that's for me is kind of shocking because like it's dangerous. <laughs> it's road and mm -hmm. everything like happens. I, nobody if a nervous when Nobody will live in the BB, right? Yeah, if, if I will do like this in Germany, they will call police, of course, they will call police and write my n car number and uh, I will be <laughs> without same, driver license. <laughs> same thing, like, um, Russian are very short tempered about road. I don't know, there's something about road that they, they're getting so upset about. Like, even a smoke, you know, cutting the car, they like, to get right away, like, pissed off. <laughs> and I know some there's some situation in Russia like they, they carry a gun in their car so it's very dangerous to cut a car like if you cut a car or you like create a dangerous situation on the road they will literally stop you they will stop you they will be like uh, fighting they will be like okay why did you do that they, they will, like, so German, so much talk, German the talking. same they, they fighting and he, uh, Filipinos this they, is like whatever <laughs> They, 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 they accept it as normal thing, so maybe he need to turn here, maybe he don't have choice, <laughs> like, and everything is so tolerant. <laughs> yeah, I haven't rode the motor, so I don't know how dangerous it is, I think it's very dangerous. But I rode the car here, and the first couple of months, it took me a year, I think, to even start driving a car. The, then when I start driving, it took me maybe months to adjust, because I have to be very, very patient. I was like, okay, there's a bus, there's a... There's a car and there's like a you have to squeeze in like what what do I need to do? It it take a re literally a really long time because there's a, there's dogs, there's tricycles, there's jeepneys, there's so many things in the road that you have to always look for. It. There's someone gonna cross, so you you cannot ever speed up here. You're gonna get into. You know, in Germany it's very 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 high 
speed. Yes. Like there is no limitation in speed. If you want, you can drive 200, 300 if your car is possible to do this. Yeah, like for for some people who who never been to Germany, I was I, it was fascinating to me when I was in Germany. They told me like, okay, here we have a speed limit no less than this. I was like, what? Yeah, like in in the the, the, yeah. the band, band. No less than one thirty kilometer yeah. per hour. Yeah. If you if you're driving one thirty kil kil one thirty miles no kilometers, kilometers. Uh, per hour, you cannot go down. So you have to be up. You can you can drive faster but not less. So I was like, wow, really? Isn't that dangerous? He's like, no, everybody's spe yeah, speeding up. So. Th there's like three lines. First one, not yeah. less than 90 kilometers. Mm -hmm. Here it is 120 and here is... Unlimited. <laughs> yeah. So you do you have a rocket for that? Yeah, so here is opposite. Uh, the first lane is for... No, not the first lane. This for tricycles. <laughs> <laughs> but they, but they they're the, they're the, the queen. The second the one. <laughs> Yeah, and then no, the rest are just for the tricycles. You know, they go anywhere where there's no tricycle, but tricycle can be everywhere. Yeah, they just. I want to be here now. <laughs> yeah, I don't care if it's a speed road. Yeah, the the road is fast. How about the food? Did you like the Filipino food? Yes, the most what I like is soups here. I soups. I really like sinigan. Sinigan, I like tinola. Tinola. Tinola yeah. is. <laughs> so you like ginger because you know it's a ginger and then uh, there's some papaya green papaya and some other like vegetables and I, chicken I, I like meat, meat. Like, i like when it's nice are chicken. you like the chicken oh <laughs> you, you know, know that in summer island they live uh, almost all vegetarians they don't eat meat or vegans or fruitarians okay so uh, I and my another friend were, I guess, only two who eat, who eat meat. And we <laughs> Did you get your own meat there? <laughs> no, we buy it. No, I mean from Russians, from, from those who can speak Russian. Yeah, so I found my friend there who also eat meat and we are both real and... <laughs> Alright, so... Um, you like Philippines, you like Filipino. Yeah. So I guess this is the... This is also the main reason why a lot of foreigners like it here because they feel welcome and they feel uh, they feel like at home here uh, compared and they feel warm with a lot of fruits, vegetables that they can consume. So uh, lots of foreigners um, happy to be in the Philippines and I think um, Filipinos should be proud of their hospitality and the world. <laughs> All right, so thank you so much for coming here in Torres Farm. How's the Cavite? Thank you for accepting me here. <laughs> so friendly. Yeah, so next time I, I told her that she has to come with her kids so my kids can also practice speaking Russian. <laughs> or my English <laughs> practice. So your kids speak two languages? Russian, Russian German, German and English. And English. Okay. But English okay. not so perfect. And now they're learning Tagalog Bisaya. and Visaya. Only Visaya. Oh, only Visaya. Yeah, in school is only Visaya. Wow, so you, so your kids going to speak four languages now. Hopefully. That's good. They're going to be very smart. It's their quadrilingual. <laughs> All right, so next time we'll see Helena with her kids. Uh, it's either we're going to go there or she will come here. Yeah, I invite uh, Anna and her husband and kids to the Hope summer. Anna. Hopefully they will come. Yeah. Hold tight. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you for watching. You guys can comment below, subscribe to our channel, and uh, you can ask questions uh, about Helena. And of course, subscribe to her channel. What's her channel? It's just my name and surname. And it's Helena original. Kopelek. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to plug it in here so you guys can uh, link it and check it out. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.